Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market preparation video for October 6th, 2020. So yesterday we had a big bull rush rallying up nicely, and this morning we have futures kind of bouncing around the flat line. They have just recently popped a little bit higher in the Dow as the morning pump up begins. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle in and let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see how we might want to approach this market for today. Here comes the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we've got a market that's just kind of bouncing around here a little bit. Um, overnight futures were mostly lower, um, but they have recently taken a bounce here this morning. Um, they were flat just moments ago and now um, are suddenly trying to bounce up. We have this morning pump up that's been happening here for a long, long time, pretty much all this year. We get close to the open and they really push hard um, to try and drive the future futures higher. And this morning we're seeing that same thing going on. So right now, if we take a look at the charts, notice we're looking at a little bit of a move. This is the candle that's forming up here in the pre-market trying to push that market up we'll see we have a lot of things um, that could certainly change that yet this morning but let's watch that closely let's keep in mind as we look at this chart we are above our 50-day moving average which is a bullish sign but we're also pushing right into a price resistance in the chart so we'll have to keep a close eye on that as we approach that resistance level. Remember, we popped up here once before and we found those bears were kind of dug in to reject uh, that level. It's possible that could occur again, but right now the bulls seem pretty intent on trying to uh, fight back higher. Um, not exactly sure where the sentiment is coming from, except, you know, hope for more stimulus because we certainly didn't see it in the jobs report. We certainly didn't see it in the GDP and um, kind of an interesting situation that the market is in. We're just kind of blindly closing our eyes and driving higher. Um, with the election um, about four weeks away, we still have that uncertainty also to deal with here in the market. And we could expect that uncertainty and that new spend to kind of drive the market around. So don't be too surprised if we see considerable volatility ahead. And one thing I would suggest um, that will have to be a little bit uh, quicker here um, in the next four weeks to take profits. So we get those nice profits coming into a trade. You might want to be quicker to take those profits because this volatility could become rather extreme as we head through this election season. Um, so pushing back up into those resistance levels, it's bullish right here in the market. Let's take a look at our moving averages. Back above our 50-day moving average, what is kind of a good thing is we're starting to see that 50-day moving average that was flattening out, maybe starting to turn back up with this recent bullishness. As long as we don't suffer any pullback that breaks that 50-day moving average, looks like we have a bullish um, resumption of trend uh, going on here in the chart. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, crossing back up above its 50-day moving average yesterday, but certainly far less bullish than we're seeing in the Dow right now. Take a look um, right in here. We've got some resistance that we're pushing up into. Um, that 50-day moving average is flattening out still. A little tiny curl back up here right at the end showing that we may have that resiliency of the bulls. But let's watch this carefully because we're really at right at that point where a failure here could be pretty critical. So keep an eye on that. And then we have the QQQ, NASDAQ. It is... A little bit uncertain, maybe. Had a nice bullish move yesterday, um, but as we push back up into this price resistance level, whoops, um, it we're seeing just a little bit of concern here in the chart and where, whether we're gonna be able to push on through or not. Watch that carefully and closely. Um, that big, big um, wick on that candle leaves 
um, just a little bit of pause. Should leave a little pause for everyone in here. As we push back up, we could see those bears um, in that area of defense and push that back down. Watch that close. And then IWM had the best um, a move yesterday that we've seen in some time on uh, this index pushing con continuing to push higher and as you can see pushing right up into this resistance level in the chart I've actually got a um, a IWM bear call credit spread um, above this resistance area but it is going to be tested and I may need to close that trade today uh, take a loss on that position because we've got this really good push happening um, in the financial and oil sectors are trying to bounce back up here, which is nice to see, seeing those financials and oil sector trying to come back up. That will certainly help this market a lot, assuming they can continue there. So let's take a look at um, the VIX. This is really interesting in that the VIX really didn't have that big a response yesterday um, considering how big a move we had in the overall market. As a matter of fact, a good portion of the day, it was holding on to um, a white candle in here on the VIX. So interesting situation here where the VIX continues to be bounded by that 200-day moving average to the upside and the 50-day moving average to the downside. Um, a very odd circumstance um, for the VIX, and I'm not exactly sure what that means, but we're gonna wanna stay pretty focused on that and uh, watch that carefully in case we finally see this market as we, we continue to push up and try to make new highs, but if we can't make lows here in the VIX, um, a very odd situation indeed. So let's take a look at um, T2122. This is a bit of a problem for us. The T2122 indicator, and that's one of the problems that we've seen in this market, it's just all or nothing. We just um, we just shove everything in all at once and push the indexes ridiculously far in a one day move. And then we reach this overbought condition in a short term. And what's happened lately is then we completely turn around and swing the other way. So this morning we're pushing up here we are in this bearish reversal zone in uh, T2122. And you can see we can stay up here for a period of time. We've had these periods where we've bounced around up in here. But uh, typically when we reach up in this area and you can follow this indicator back as far as you wanna follow back. Um, once we reach up into this area, we wanna be watchful for the potential of a bit of a sell-off. Doesn't mean we have to collapse or sink all the way back down, but we wanna watch for that which would suggest on a, any gap up this morning might be a good time to be thinking about taking some profits in trades. Let's take a look at um, T2101, which is the um, absolute market breadth. And this has been um, kind of a back and forth thing that um, has been we've been fighting on but what you can see here is absolute breadth actually had an increase yesterday on a buy wave that is a positive sign if we can continue to see market breadth spreading out across more and more stocks and just uh, beyond just a few select um, tech stocks we might see a bit more of a sustained rally here. So having those financials uh, kick in, if we take a look at uh, like XLF, the, X, uh, the Spider Select Financial Sector ETF, perking back up here. Now we are pr approaching some resistance in that chart, but it's nice to see that. And if we take a look at XLE, the, the Spider Select Energy Sector, all we really did is bounce off of lows, bouncing back up here into uh, price resistance of this downtrend, but that is certainly helping IWM a lot and helping to lift those sectors up. So if we can start seeing more of that going on, we might actually get that market breadth to increase here, um, adding some weight to the bullish side of this market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. We do have a few things that we'll want to be paying attention to on the economic calendar. First, we have goods and services trade 
coming out this morning. Now, this is not expected to be a bullish report um, here at 8.30. Notice it's expected the consensus is showing um, uh, more to the downside, a negative 66 and a half um, on that um, report. So kind of keep um, that in mind, not expected to be bullish. We have the jobs opening report. We'll want to pay attention to that this morning. Of course, job openings are always very important. We saw just a little bit of slowdown in the employment situation number with not as many jobs being created as expected. Um, Keep a close eye on this. Consensus is coming in for 6.25, which is a little bit short of what it was last um, reading. So kind of keep that in mind. We could catch a little effect from that. We also have, of course, something we always want to pay attention to is when the big guy, Jerome Powell, is out speaking, we'll want to pay attention to what he has to say. I doubt we learn anything new or more, but just always that possibility that he could say something that moves the market significantly. We also have a, um, a more of a um, Fed parade here the rest of the day um, as Fed speakers will be out speaking. And notice they continue that tomorrow, just tons of Fed talk out here. So we're going to have to pay attention to that. Anytime these folks speak, um, they have the potential for moving the market. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. And on our earnings calendar, we don't have much going on, but we do have three confirmed reports today, um, and only really two of them that would be somewhat notable. Take a look at PAYX. PAYX will be reporting today. Let's keep a close eye on that. Had a nice rally yesterday in anticipation of that report. Let's see how that reports here this morning. Keep a close eye on that. And Levi. Levi Strauss will be reporting today, also just racing up toward its earnings report um, and trying to show a little bit of bullishness this morning, so watch that closely on Levi. We have um, a, um, LN DC also in a confirmed report this morning, but this thing has such low volume in it, not exactly a notable report, although um, we'll you know anything um, anything news related can move the market so let's keep a close eye on that let's take a look at um um, stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos is just to take a look at the technicals, not provide any hype. We want to study that price action. We don't want to predict. We just want to focus on how we might want to approach the market for today. And if you guys find these videos to be helpful, please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. And of course, always feel free to share this video on your social media platform. Share it with friends and other traders that you know. Helps the channel to continue to grow. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. So remember in the stocks that I show in these videos that um, they are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's just part of the education I provide. And um, you need to do your own due diligence and make sure that you evaluate each one of these trades for yourself and determine whether or not they fit your risk tolerance and your trading plan. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks. I added an alert yesterday on NIO. This has been a strong runner this, um, this year. And you can see NIO breaking through some resistance, having a very, very light, choppy, consolidating move. Now, our, we have a little bit of a trend showing up right in here. And if this little light consolidation can find some bullishness in here, we might resume the upside here in NIO. This is a highly speculative stock. There's They don't make any money yet or anything like that, but it's certainly been very, very bullish. It seems like anything in the electric car industry has been very bullish. Um, 
and you can see trying to push up. So keep a close eye on that. This nice little tight con consolidation is saying there's no buyers above here, no sellers below. And because we have the upside trend, we kind of have to favor that upside trend waiting for that next leg higher. So keep an eye on that. Might want to take a look at Nike. I placed an alert on Nike early yesterday and Nike followed on through um, triggering the alert and as you can see trying to push on up this morning in the pre-market trying to follow through now don't be too surprised if this needs you know to finish up this resting period over here toward the trend but let's watch that for the next possible leg to the upside looking pretty bullish overall in that chart as you guys know I've been mentioning CRWD uh, for a while in the chart that continues to perform a little bit of a choppiness in here but there's that pattern that I'm looking for all the time we pop up we hold a level of support we consolidate ourselves back over to trend and then boom to the upside we go I suspect we're going to test these highs up here and then we'll have to see what happens after that I wouldn't chase it at this point it's a little bit far away from a stop loss but do keep it that um, on a, a watch list to keeping an eye on that if we run up here hit this resistance we may rest a little bit more and then continue that move on higher take a look at Crocs since I've um, noted this one Crocs moving on up there's that pattern again uh, break above a resistance consolidate over toward the trend and pop higher my alert right here was well placed and we moved on up don't chase this a little rest or pullback and there should be an opportunity in that chart I'm keeping a pretty close eye on Costco now Costco shooting up today I had a nice winning trade in this but closed it for a, a beautiful profit here recently and I was waiting to see if this could slide on over here toward the trend well this morning Costco's getting a big boost pushing up here so we're gonna test this recent high I wouldn't want to chase into that just yet but any consolidating move any rest or pullback as we react maybe to this um, high or if we can pop out and then hold that as support I would be looking for a next opportunity into Costco hanging in there pretty nice as you guys know I've mentioned uh, I've been mentioning Mike or um, uh, McDonald's here since this alert over and over and over again and McDonald's there's that pattern once again we crack above a resistance area we hold it and consolidate it bulls come in we start pushing up this morning we're trying to break on through and hold that new high up here in McDonald's showing lots of strength here and um, old Mickey D's so watch that carefully looking good overall saw lots and lots of tech good price pattern showing up yesterday um, Microsoft um, trying to pick up here you can see pushed up pulled back holding on to this support level in here trying to show a little bit of bullishness Microsoft might be one to keep an eye on how about Nvidia Nvidia a nice price pattern in here pushing back up we broke through that resistance, pulled back, tested it as support, and now those bulls pushing this up. A little Morningstar pattern yesterday, and we're trying to get that follow through this morning um, on NVIDIA, showing some pretty decent strength here. Keep an eye on that. Apple showed a, uh, a nice move yesterday with a bit of a Morningstar pattern. As you can see, pushing up, there's that three-day little Morningstar pattern. Um, watch this hold of support in here, that opportunity that that might move higher so a lot of the big techs also showing some bullishness um, in the charts and there was really good moves in several areas of um, retail yesterday take a look at like GPS GPS breaking through resistance in this chart moving higher any rest or pullback now that holds that support sets up an opportunity in GPS and there were quite a few of those in that retail sector moving up yesterday like Dollar General continuing to move up Home Depot 
uh, bouncing back and pushing back up through this resistance uh, now as support if that can hold up here that is a good sign we saw the same thing in like lows pushing back up to test some resistance in the chart um, even saw uh, you know stocks like Macy's trying to bounce off of bottoms yesterday so retail trying to come back up a little bit Target has been performing really well we've been talking about this one in right way options uh, once again uh, breaking that downtrend whoops breaking that downtrend holding that at holding it as support that resumes the uptrend we tested resistance here with a little consolidation and then popped on through very nice looking chart looking good and um, I hold the trade in Walmart um, I've been holding this one for a long long time as a long-term hold Walmart still holding up very well after popping this alert and just consolidating over toward that trend let's keep an eye on that um, may have more upside to come in that trade so lots of stocks potentially setting up looking good overall keep a close eye on those um, another stock I want to bring up and I'm running late on this video a little long on this video one you might want to pay attention to um, SPCE um, recently received coverage, I think, from Bank of America, and that's perked this stock up. But I like the pattern that we're showing here in SPCE. It's a bit speculative, as you, uh, I'm sure you know, but we've popped up through here, and you can see pushing up consolidating this move in here now pushing back up toward this price resistance level if SPCE can get a little bit of bullishness going on here um, may consolidate underneath this level for a few days and then watch for that potential pop out and then we could be at back up here testing these highs so some good upside potential may be coming here in SPCE watch that closely so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading everyone take care be safe you guys the cdc came out today acknowledging that uh, the coronavirus spreads through the air and they have found transmissions between folks um, and infections being created between folks that are more than six feet apart so be careful out there be safe we don't want to see you coming down with this virus Everyone take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day.